football. Who did you play for? I played for a lot of teams. No, which name one? Lebanon. Lebanon. What, what was the name of your team? Uh, Hamitman. Hamitman. Do you, you, y'all team can beat the different Nuggets? I'm matched up against you, nigga. What's up? I'm just better than you. What's up? Uh, so what? No, Prove it. I'm just better. We have a chance. Do you kidding? Now get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Y'all lose by 200. Let's stop. You better than you. I can guard you. Yo, what? I, I can don't, guard I don't you. I care about you. I can guard you, though. I'm just better yeah. than you. I can like, guard you. Like, stop that. But I can guard you. I'm just better than you. But I can guard you. I'm just better than you. I'm going to And I'm going to prove it. 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 Let's move on, man. When you talk about comedy, I think it comes in several type of ways, in different type of forms. There's the slapstick, the punchlines, the family guy style of comedy, and then you have Gil's Arena. Right. I'm gonna show him why he's traveling. Of course. I'm gonna show why his feet is traveling. I'm not gonna let him finish the move to travel. First that's, of all, that's worth, there's no defense when the travel is happening. That's worth fifty thousand. That sounds that's stupid. We talking about sounds stupid. We talking about boy. If you have not seen Gill's Arena so far, or if you want to laugh, or whatever the case may be, go on Gill's Arena right now, bro. I promise you, you will laugh your ass off. For y'all who don't know what Gill's Arena is, it's basically a podcast of ex NBA players featuring. The man, the myth, the legend, Gilbert Arenas, Agent Zero, Mr. What's Hannon. Bro, if y'all niggas don't know about Gilbert Arenas, this man's average 30 in 2005, 2006, bro. This man's average 30 at barely like 6'1 and a half ish. 6'2 probably with truths. This man had everything in his bag. One dribble, cross, tween, and he, he didn't even have to do all that. He really didn't have to do all that. What was so impressing about his basketball bag or his overall game was that he didn't need to do a whole lot of bullshit to get to the rim and score or get to his spot on the perimeter and pop that shit right in your mouth, boy. And it's going in, cash. He's getting cocky with it. And after the game, he's going to the strip club. And after that, he's spending that paycheck that he got blitzing your ass, crossing your ass in front of everybody on the strippers, boy. He does it like that, boy. And I ain't gonna lie, you don't have to respect that, but I don't know how you can hate on that, bro. This man was a bucket and he was just living life. Gilbert Arenas would basically be your my career player wild and out, crashing out, but still dropping 30 on any given moment. 40, 60. How many he dropped on Kobe? I don't even remember on off the top of my head. I think it was like something like 60, 40, but between 40 and 60 on Kobe? Back then? I don't need to talk about Kobe. Y'all know about Kobe then, bro. If you haven't watched that, bro, it's really Gilbert Rashad McKent, boy. Sometimes I don't even click on the video if Rashad ain't there, boy. This man is too funny, bro. Either this man is trolling or he has wild takes about the game of basketball for, for a boy that already played. And I ain't gonna lie, his reputation is a bit sus, man. We, we, we know what you did. We know what you did. But you a bucket, though. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna take nothing from, from him. I respect him 100%. I'm a fan. If you want to call me a fan and look at me, nigga, I'm a nigga in a mask talking about your show, so you should be happy. That's free promotion, but shit. I ain't gonna lie, man. These niggas are entertaining. Like, I ain't gonna lie. B. Jennings, Kenya Martin, all these boys, bro. All these boys are really entertaining, and right now, I feel, I really feel like this is like peak comedy. So basically, like I said, it's really a podcast. So these guys, they just go out there and like talk about basketball on the couch, just chilling and since they have experience and they know what they're talking about they play the game certain situations they've been in they already know what's going on so their perspective on the game is really interesting it feels genuine bro these niggas don't these niggas don't sound like they're lying at all bro they sound like they're telling 100 truth man and sometimes they're trying to they're trying to hide some shit because they be saying too much you know what i'm saying they can't let too much get exposed out here because you you know how we you know you know how the internet be man one day they were talking about one day they were talking about 
that workout from Hakeem, Hakeem the Dream, that workout that cost 50k, man, I ain't gonna lie, man, 50k is crazy for a workout, I heard the workout was in, wasn't even that long, boy, that nigga Gilbert Arenas went in on the dream, boy, I boy, come on, man, Hakeem a legend, bro, I ain't gonna lie, this shit is funny, bro. <laughs> don't get started, because you know I'm ready to cook on that subject, I'm ready to cook on that subject, y'all didn't even include me on that shit, I'm paying 50000 this nigga is crazy. So you paying 50000 for him to work you out? I'm paying 50000 for access, tutelage, mentorship, and to be able to say, hey, man, I used to work out with Akeem Olaf. Oh, okay, that's what it is. Now, I remember when I said that McKen can have, like, such statements. This man said that he would have worked out for Kareem just to say that he was able to work out for Kareem. We do a lot of things over here on that channel. But one thing we do not do is support clout chases. What about the skills, bro? That that could have been your first statement. You would have sound smarter because most of the time, if y'all don't know, Gilbert all like mostly wins the, uh, these little arguments, these little back and forth that Rashad and Gil have been going through throughout the years of Gilbert Arenas' little podcast. I'm not gonna lie, it's not a little no more. This shit is... This shit is successful, bro. I'm happy for that because Gilbert Arenas is like, I'm not ranking him all time or whatever, but like favorite players, he's top three. Top three favorite players of all time, bro. Are you crazy, bro? If you don't know who Gilbert Arenas is, well, go check, bro. Who are you, bro? Who are you? Gilbert Arenas, bro. Go check him out, nigga. That's why I fuck with Gilbert because on many statements, on many arguments, I would agree with him. In that case, I do agree with him. Why would you pay 50,000, 50,000 to say that you played or you worked out with somebody, bro, whoever it is, just to say, that's crazy, bro. Are you doing it for clout or to get better? I don't understand, bro. And learn whatever he know. And learn what he know. Because we got game and we got knowledge and wisdom of the game, not just moves. No, no, that's not, not just moves. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. That is true. Because most people would give y'all knowledge while they would be, you know, passing time with y'all or on a workout. If you know you're working out with a professional, I would guess he would, he's not gonna stay silent the whole time. He's gonna give you some knowledge, obviously. But Gilbert comes back with a fire answer, bro. Like, you can't fool this nigga. It's like a witty. He's witty with it, bro. He's quick quick-minded bro and what he says bro most of the time makes sense bro especially against Rashad like I said the show is not the same without Gil and Rashad bro these are the two like head honcho of the show in terms of uh arguments entertainment humor value like everything like all of the above these niggas is just funny at the end of the day bro the week is over is it like done yes no like you can't no be, it's like, not you can't hit him yes you can like later and be you like you got access can you watch this we, yes if, like is he's it watching the, the game yes. no he's not watching he's the watching the game if he was watching the games and they wouldn't all be doing the same moves because he will watch and understand their 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 their, their, their movement to realize you can't do it like this nope. let me change it for your that body how it worked though that ain't how the training works you know that ain't how training works because if you don't know a move all them travelings that you were saying on tv right you was like travel travel if you ain't never done the move you gonna travel until you get it because no, no, it's no. called training we training for the move to get it right of course we're not gonna do it like akeem he's been doing it since he was 10. Rashad probably got him on this one. I don't see something that's wrong on that. And after all that, you see Gilbert's face. I can't say that. <laughs> Rashad on his ass. Don't get it twisted. It's not like Rashad is stupid. Rashad is extremely smart. I can respect the fact that he can build his own opinions. I can get where he comes from most of the time. But sometimes, bro, this man be wild and bro. Something crazy about LeBron James, bro. What's, what, what you got against LeBron, bro? What you got against LeBron, bro? I don't know. I don't know. I ain't no celebrity. I, ain't, I don't even know detective, bro. I don't even want to know at this point. But shit, man. Damn, the... the LeBron, did, did you this dirty? Did he cost you any moolah? What's happening? Like Gil was saying, man, what's happening? Well, what's good, bro? He's teaching us how to do it. So how many times do I need to travel before you fucking correct me for 50,000? Fuck that. I'm Fuck going, tra Fuck I'm going travel many, for a week. How many times are you going to travel? Forget the money. How many times are you going to travel before I step in and say, hold on, you're traveling? Like Gil said, 50,000. Keep in mind, 50,000. 
I don't care if you're NBA player. I don't care who you is. 50,000 and 50,000. You ain't no Bill Gates. You ain't no Elon. You ain't no, you know what I'm saying? you NBA player. 50,000. Every travel. Hey, bro, you're doing it wrong. Do it again. No, 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 no. You're doing it I, wrong. I made the cuts. There's four minutes. It's four minutes, 85% rate of trap. Yes. No correction. For <laughs> This man says four minutes, 85% rate of trap. Bro, if you an NBA player and I don't know if that that's exactly what he meant. I'm gonna make it precise. English is not my first language, keep that in mind. So I tried to do my best, but it sounds like he said that if you travel at an 80 or something percent rate in a time lapse of four minutes, that would be crazy. You shouldn't have to pay 50K if your workouts don't work, but what NBA player would travel at an 80% rate in four minutes. I don't understand, bro. You're, you're an NBA player, bro. How, how, how many times? What? You know what I'm saying, man? This, you know, all I know, man, is that all that entertaining shit reminds me of the Roman times. Y'all know about the Roman times? Make y'all research about the Roman times, man. The Coliseums and all that shit. I ain't gonna say much. First session. You can tell. First session. By the fifth session, ain't no travels. My son won't travel. Ain't no after travels. The, my son won't travel after the first one. Well, that's because your... when he traveled the first time, I'm gonna break it down to show him. It don't mean he gonna get it. It don't mean he gonna get it because you're breaking it down on Google. Do it like this. It don't mean he ain't gonna travel. Because if you're not gonna say travel, I'm gonna say, hey, they, hey, that's a travel. Travel. Do that shit again. No, it's, it's a travel. Do it again. I'm gonna show him why he's traveling. But you're gonna keep doing it till you do it right. I'm gonna show him why he's traveling. Of course. I'm gonna show why his feet is traveling. I'm not gonna let him finish the move to travel. First that's, of all, that's worth there's no defense when the traveling's happening. That's worth How are you gonna travel when there's no Defense happening in front of you. Again, Gil aims and strikes. That's worth fifty thousand dollars. Stupid. We talk you about. Sound stupid. We talk about. Oh. <laughs> Yo, oh, man, oh, these niggas, man, they know each other. They they sound like they know each other for a long time. So it really sound. They, most of the time, they sound like a married couple. <laughs> It just makes it 10 times funnier when you know it's really genuine and there's no real agenda behind their comedy, you know what I'm saying? It's really genuine shit and it gives a change on how everything is represented on the internet right now. It's just, it just feels real. You know what makes it look stupid? That I pointed out that every single client is traveling, every move, and then y'all are throwing in who he is, which makes it worse. I would rather you travel on someone who wasn't is a Hall of Famer. Gil, you're Don't capping. say he's top 25, Gil, top three, you're capping. and his whole client list is traveling. Now I decided to finish the end of the video right here. Really, there's really a bunch of, just a bunch of great content on Gil's Arena. It's a ch YouTube channel. I would recommend it to you. If you want to laugh it off for a quick second, but let me know what you want to see, man. I might do more Gilbert Arenas uh, content. That's about it, bro. Let me know what y'all want to see, man. It's been low-key. Reacts, and I'm out.